Sneaky Links back again. Today we have Tiny Core 4.5. Oh yes, released within the last 24 hours. So I'll give it a quick download. This is nice and small. I've installed it for you. Put a few programs on and we're going to check it out. Right, there's some changes. There's not a lot, but subtle changes and some stuff under the hood. And we'll go through some stuff with you and we'll go get down and have a look. So of course you've got your W bar, which has been upgraded. New stuff down here. So you get Exit, Terminal, the Editor, or your Text Editor, the Control Panel. Do some Control Panel stuff like do your time call, widget bar configuration and network, date and time, backup and restore, blah, 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 blah. But as I've installed it, it does that automatically for me. And I see what, I'll show you what I mean. If you go to exit, it backs up to SDA1 TCE. So that's nice too. Right, app browser. All right, this has changed a bit. Now you get this button that says apps, okay? So you can go to browse or select a mirror, load a local app, so just load it if you really want to. Maintenance for MD5 check-in, installation options, blah, blah blah or quit. So if we go to browse, and you can see all the programs you can download here, which is quite a few, really, isn't it? When you think about it, yeah, it's quite a few there. I like it. Well, there's millions there, to be really honest with you. I'm not going to install any for you today, because I've already done it. In all the tiny core ones are there. I'll do them quite regular, as you know. I can say Audacious is here, Audacity is here. They're all here for you to use, really, yeah. And I could download Audacity, but I'm not going to, okay? So that's the app browser out of the way. We've got Scum apps, so Scum's been changed. We have Run Program, the Amount Tool, Abbey Word. So we've got Abbey Word, opens all right. I've added the extras on for that as well. I mean, I, in my personal opinion, this will be your basic Abbey Word setup, basically. You, if you want loads and loads of apps, you get a different distribution. But if you want a small, light, fast distribution with your own stuff on it, just the basics, this is the baby for you, okay? We also get Asunder, which I've installed, works okay. I've added the codex, all the extra codex it needed, which is lame and og, so you can do stuff. So if I go to my preferences right here, my encoding preferences, I can do it in MP3, og, flac, and wave as well. Not that I want to do that really, would I? No, 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 no. Let's close every word down anyway. I've got Dead Beef for Music Player. I've only ripped one track at the moment just to make sure it all worked, and it all works fine. Bit of a project going down there. And of course we have Genie Merit, because that's the other thing you would basically need if you're going to use it as a, uh, just a small stripped down machine. Okay, Genie Merit's all here, all works hunky dory. I've not actually got my printer to work yet, but I haven't had time to do that. We also get VLC for our video playing, you know VLC is the best all rounder out there. It's not version 2 yet, it's still one of the older ones. If I go to help and about, as you can see it's only 1.1.12, but it does the job, okay? It does the job, yeah. That's what you need to do, just do the, what you need to do. Gimpy as well for doing my photos, all here. This is 2.6 here. As you can see, nice fast loading. That's what it says. I'm only using one core here, by the way. Right, I've also installed Record My Desktop. It was missing quite a few libs, even though it downloaded quite a few when I downloaded it. But you must have them, otherwise it ain't gonna work. No, it'll just crash, basically, because it crashed on me the first time I used it, and I'll go and get all the other bits and bobs for it. Well, if I open the HTOP up for you, as you can see, because I've got some of the programs uh, load on boot, I'm using 74 megabytes on my RAM. You can have them load on demand, right, when you're installing. But this means when you click on the icon, it will take a little period of time for them to actually appear. So it's a lesser of two evils. If you want them instantaneously, the boot will take longer. But if you want them on demand and you want the boot to take a shorter time, have them on demand, basically. That's it, the end of the day. Okay. But I've installed Firefox 11. You do get a choice of browsers, whatever you want, really. So I've got Tiny Core in. It should already be there. There it is. Lovely. Tiny Core. Search. Lovely. We'll go to the site. Already been there, of course. Make sure it all worked before we even started. As you can see, is the improvements he's done here. He's done some explanation for his a TCW bar config. That's all done as well. App browser and apps have all been done into single apps GUI, which I like. And the Scum browser was renamed to Scum Apps. And the Core Plus includes enhanced boot menu, and I must say, it's even bigger than it was before. Yeah. So lots and lots of little, little stuff going down. Right, we're going to head on over to the tube, because I've actually installed Flash as well, which was a lot quicker than it used to be in Tiny Core. Sometimes when downloading Flash, it used to take an age. Now it was really, really quick. I didn't have to fart about, basically. So, so that's all legal. I'll go to one of mine. That'll do. Top of the tree, as you do. See you what, I'm just going to click on the quick one here. That one will do. It should come up all nice and hunky-dory in the end. So here we go, five to do one. And here we go. That's 
better. I'm only using Vesta at the moment, by the way. I forgot to tell you that bit. That's why you've got a little bit of stutteriness here, so don't worry about it too much. You can load Exorg if you want to. It's up to you what you want to do. All right. So anyway, that's that bit out of the way. It plays. It's super duper. Nice. Right, Tiny Core. Hang on. I hope that's plug in. So everything's hanging on to it. No, nothing's hanging on, so that's pretty cool. Tiny Core as in Tiny Core 4x5, is really, really good if you want this sort of distro, and I really like it anyway. I've got it triple booting at the moment on an old laptop. It's triple booting Tiny Core, MacPup, and Bodhi, for reasons I will tell you in the future coming days. Okay, yes. So Tiny Core 4.5, really, really nice. I like it. It's just not, small improvements, as they do every time. It gets better and better every time. I'm only going to give it 92%, basically, because I get all the extra libs for all my desktop. Bummer. I oh, know. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.